Wow. Well, parents, when you've taken your kids to the doctor, you've seen them ask the kids to bend over and check their spine to see if it's straight. When it's not, that's where Rocky Mountain Hospital for Children comes in with a procedure I learned is helping whole families. Yeah, it definitely runs the family. And Sisters family, share family. everything. I think we both understand how it is. Things that we can't do or like restricted to do because of it. And I think it's something that has definitely like helped us become closer. Of course, those common traits aren't always the ones you want. What runs in this family isn't so obvious just looking at Ruby and Irie yeah, Levitt. I was getting some clothes with my mom for like school, you know, like starting school again. And um, I bent down and she saw my curve in my spine. And I was about 15. And we went to the doctor and they were like, yeah, you have scoliosis. For it's Ruby, the pain from her curved spine began even younger and was more severe. It was okay for like about a year and then I had to get a brace and that was like the end of my life. Not really, but like I felt like it was. I had to wear it 22 hours a day. So, and I had like things to do, you know, like I had played soccer and I didn't want to wear it all the time. Ruby has been brace free for a while now, thanks to a procedure called vertebral body tethering. And we brought it from Philadelphia and New York here to Colorado. And it holds some really great promise when it comes to maintaining the motion of the spine after we straighten the spine for scoliosis. It's an alternative to a common but more restrictive scoliosis surgery, spinal fusion. And instead of placing a rod that makes the spine really rigid, we can place a rope that allows the kids to maintain their flexibility. There's a shorter stay in the hospital, they get back to their sports quicker, and I think they all have a sense that they preserved a little bit more of themselves. VBT is still relatively new. Irie hasn't been approved for it yet and is still doing what she can to relieve her pain. I've recently started doing yoga, which is one of the things that they recommend because it strengthens your back and your muscles. But she hopes she'll soon have something else in common with her sister, a success story. Does your scoliosis bother you at all now? Or are you pretty much like, yay, it's been Barely great. ever. I mean, like, sometimes, like, I have, like, itty bitty scars on my right side. Okay. And sometimes I'll just look at them and I'm like, oh, I forgot you were there. <laughs> That's the best when you can just forget something. Uh, the Levitt sisters' mom and grandma both had scoliosis. It is much more common in girls than boys. A Colorado Springs man.